Howdy folks, welcome back to Texas Cooking Today. Hey, on this episode, it's not really about cooking, it's something else that happened to me and I need to talk to you about it. And this is real important. Somebody came to me and relayed a story that I couldn't believe and I was like, really? And, then, and first of all, I was just shocked at who it was that showed up. I was like, you? You're here? And I was like, I couldn't believe this. But anyway, he told me this story, and, and, and it was about a young girl that lives in San Diego, California, and she had told her grandmother that, that she didn't believe I was a real Texan. And I'm sitting there thinking, oh my God, yeah, I'm about as real Texan as it gets. So are my parents and grandparents, and well, my grand, great-grandparents are the ones that came here. Point being, yeah, died in the wool Texan right here. And um, he told me that she didn't believe that I was real Texan because I didn't have a big hat and a gun. And I was like, well, yeah, I do. I just don't have them on my show. And so I thought, well, I better put out a film to inform this young lady of what's really going on. So anyway, he told me her name. Uh, and and I, if I remember right, I think he said it was Kyra. And I wanted to tell Kyra in San Diego. She's a, a seven-year-old who watches my videos with her sister and her grandmother. And I wanted to say, Kyra, not all Texans have big hats and not all Texans have guns. Now, as it turns out, I'm not all Texans. I'm just me and I do have a big hat and I do have a gun. Now, the gun I keep put away because the only time I really need that is if I go camping and I carry it with me in case there's predators. But the big hat, normally a Texan doesn't wear his hat indoors because it's considered impolite. However, it's there. Oh, of course. Yep, we got a Texan and a Stetson. Yes, Kyra, I am a real Texan. And so were my parents and grandparents and my great-grandparents on both sides who were married to Cherokee women came here to North Texas so they could be near the tribe which was forced to march to Oklahoma. Anyway, that was that. That's in the past. Today, though, what happened to me was just unbelievable. I had this visitor. Well, I'll tell you what. I was setting up to do some shots of downtown Dallas and you know as I'm getting my shots suddenly these clouds came billowing in and from around the corner I see him and I'm like wow here's this pink shirt this white hair I couldn't believe it so anyway let's take a look at that it kind of speaks for itself. Uh, I think the audio was kind of grainy, but well, I was just setting up for still shots, so it, I got what I got. That was strange. Hey, Santa. Hey, how are you? <laughs> how are you doing? doing? This is summer. What are you doing here? Oh, I'm down here for the summer. You summer in Texas? Oh, God, yes. Wow, who would have guessed Santa Claus summers in Texas? There's nothing like Texas. <laughs> oh, <laughs> nothing that's like right. Texas. Nothing hey, like Texas. So what's up? What, what you? Well, I came down here because I got a message from a little girl named Kyra out of San Diego, California. She's informed me that uh, she doesn't believe you're a Texan. She doesn't think I'm a Texan? She doesn't think you're a Texan. Oh, wow. To, to think someone doesn't think I'm a Texan, I mean, born in Texas, parents born in Texas, my grandparents were born here. And I just wanted to let her know, <laughs> her grandmother and her sister, that you are a two bona fide Texan. You were born in Texas. Wow. You were born in Texas. 
Kyra. Kyra, where is she at? In San Diego, California. San Diego, yeah, she said uh, she listens to one of your programs on cooking or something like that. Yeah. And, yeah. and, yeah, and, uh, cooking, yeah. and uh, she was informed me that, uh, what do you call it, she thought you were not a real Texan. Well, I'll tell you what, I'm going to make this right. Yeah. I'm going to work on my video and make sure everyone knows I'm a true Texan. And uh, like I said, I do reiterate. You are a true Texan. Thanks, Santa. Good to see you. <laughs> you too. You Santa too. Is in Texas. <laughs> yeah. Hey, Kyra, look at this. There's a little bit of smoke here. We're doing some smoking right here in, what does that say? That's a Texas license plate, young lady. Looky there. Wow, look at that. As you can see there, he shows up. Santa Claus pops up around the corner out of nowhere. These clouds billow in. I'm getting ready for shots of downtown and suddenly they're just, it goes gray. And he shows up and he says, Stuart, I've got bad news for you. And I'm like, Santa, you're Santa, really? And he said, yeah, yeah, I know. Just get over it and listen. And so he tells me this story, you know, about Kyra in San Diego and it, it absolutely floored me. So Kyra, it's true. I am a real Texan. And there's one other truth that you need to know. Kyra, yes, apparently Santa Claus does summer in Texas. There it is. Well, that video was for you, young lady, and for your grandmother and your sister that watches. Thank you for watching my show. And to all of my other subscribers and viewers, thank you. Thank you very much for watching Texas Cooking today. And if you would, if you haven't subscribed, please click the subscribe and the bell. I'll tell you when new videos are coming out. Also, please share my videos. Click like. That really helps me out. I'll do my best to answer as many comments as possible. And folks, thank you. Thank you for watching. You have a good day. Bye-bye.